Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll see how to count the number of zeros from the given equation. f of x equals to x cube. Zero really means the value of x which can get result into zero value for the function. So there's only one value, x equals to zero, which is going to give us a zero. So the number of zeros will be, let me write here, number of zeros for the first one will be just one. Here we have one, two, three factors. So the number of zeros will be three. You will see that I really want number of zeros along with their multiplicity or order. Now, what does that mean? In first case, we have one zero, however, its order is three. There are three zeros effectively at x equals to zero. So we'll say its multiplicity, let me write that in brackets, is three. In the second case, we do have three zeros. However, they all have different multiplicity. The first one here, let me write like this, the first one here is linear. So, so x equals to 0 is linear, then at x equals to 2, we have order 2, and at x equals to minus 3, the order is 4, right? So, so let me write like this, that there are three zeros, and along with order, let me write 1 is linear, right? 1 we have of order 2, and 1 we have of order 4, right? So that power gives you the multiplicity or the order for the zero. Next one here is 2 times x minus 1 to the power of 4 minus 3. Now that's kind of interesting. Now if you try to sketch this function, you will get a function which is kind of like this, right? So that's a rough sketch. So that will result into two zeros, each linear, right? So number of zeros is 2. And both are of order 1. So both linear, I can see. That means order is 1, right? So order is 1. Then we have d, m of x equals to x square plus 1 times x minus 1 whole square. x square plus 1 is always positive. There's only one zero here. And the order of this zero is 2. So we can write like this x squared minus 1 times x plus 2 could be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1. That's the factoring of x squared minus 1, difference of squares, plus 2. So that gives us three zeros, right? Three zeros and all of order 1, right? So all of order 1. And here we have 2 plus x minus 2 whole square x plus 3 to the power of 4. Now, all these terms are always positive. They're never 0. So here we have none. So we can write no 0 at all, right? So that is how you can actually find the number of zeros and their multiplicity from the given equation. It really helps to sketch functions once you understand zeros and their multiplicity. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.